welcome back uh, let's start with producer's problem okay okay so we, uh, right now i'm going to assume that uh, the producer or the firm uh, that we are talking about is a price taker okay so what do you mean by price taker price taker means they take prices given and they choose what they want to sell okay like for example in the in the consumer behavior you know we did the same thing with the consumer the consumers were price takers okay they were not price setters okay they were price takers and that is why we were able to draw the budget line and everything okay uh, so uh, so they take prices given and choose what they want to consume similarly producer is a price taker they take prices given and choose what they want to sell okay so uh, the objective was of the producer is to maximize profit okay and uh, uh, the producer is going to take uh, uh, two decisions mainly like how much to sell and how to produce okay what they want to sell okay so these are the two decisions one is how much to sell other is how to produce it you know whatever they want to sell how to produce it okay uh, you know you can think about this particular problem in this way that producer is interested in choosing how much they want to sell and how much amount of inputs they want to hire so that they can produce what they want to sell. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna formally uh, define this problem. Okay, so, uh, so uh, before I do that, uh, let me introduce a, a production function. Okay, so this is a function which uh, uh, producer has access to okay and producer use this particular function to convert input into output okay so this is a production function so output function or whatever you want to call it this is a function which takes as input let's say labor and capital let's say these are the inputs okay so it is going to take as input labor and capital and is going to throw as output you know whatever quantity uh, you know the firm wants to sell Make sense? Okay, so production function. So one input problem is uh, obviously going to be easier. So I'm going to straight away go into two input problem. I would expect you to know how to solve one input problem on your own. Okay, it's very simple. You know, if you know how to handle two inputs, you can easily handle one input. Okay, so, uh, so, uh, so, the technology is this or you can say production function or the technology whatever word you want to use the production function or the technology is given by this function f which is a function from r2 plus to r plus okay and it takes two arguments labor and capital is that fine have you all understood this? L is the amount of labor, K is the amount of capital. Okay, so this is labor and this is capital. Understood? Okay, so, so what is the producer's problem? Okay, so, uh, so I'm, as I've told you, I'm gonna assume that producer is a price taker in both input market and output market so what that means is that he's going to take price of output as given so price of output i'm going to use notation p for it okay is denoted by p and price of inputs labor and capital are denoted by W and R respectively. So when I say price, it's a per unit price, okay? In exactly the same way, you know, we uh, we had uh, price in the consumer's problem, okay? It was a per unit price. Here also it's a per unit price, okay? So this is a per unit price of output. Uh, this is a per unit price of labor and this is a per unit price of capital is that okay so now we have all the uh, uh, 
components uh, of the profit maximization problem with us. Now we are ready to define the profit maximization problem of the producer. So what is the profit maximization problem of the producer? So producer is interested in maximizing with respect to what? Now the producer chooses three things. One is how much to sell. The other is how much amount of labor to hire. And then the, the last is how much amount of capital to hire. Okay, so these are the three things that the producer chooses. Okay. P times Y. So that's the total revenue. Minus the cost WL minus RK. Subject to the constraint that the amount sold must not exceed the amount produced. Okay, so this is the definition of producer's problem. Is this clear? Okay, so where the producer is a competitive firm. Okay, so I'm going to call it a competitive firm because they are price taker. Okay, it's a price taker. Okay, competitive. 